test for large goods vehicle drivers. This practice theory test for large goods vehicle, LGV, lorry and truck drivers is provided so you can see how the DVSA theory test works. You'll need to do more revision to learn all the topics and give yourself the best chance of passing. We recommend that you watch this video. The test has 50 questions. And you need to get 43 right to pass. You have 57 minutes to do it. The actual lorry test has 100 questions, and you need to get 85 right to pass the test. You'll have 115 minutes to do it. Question 1 of 50. How should you load a vehicle? Spread the load evenly. Load it towards the rear. Load it towards the front. Arrange the load to make it easy for unloading. The correct answer is spread the load evenly. Explanation. It's your responsibility to make sure that the vehicle's load is spread evenly to avoid overloading individual axles. Overloading carries severe penalties for the driver and operator. Question 2 of 50. You're driving a lorry in a busy town. A driver pulls out in front of you and you have to brake hard. What should you do? Overtake as quickly as possible. Stay calm and accept the error. Flash your lights to show your annoyance. Sound your horn and speed up. The correct answer is, stay calm and accept the error. Explanation. Some drivers might emerge from a junction when it's not safe to do so. In this situation, understand that other drivers might make mistakes. Don't intimidate them by driving aggressively to teach him a lesson. Question 3 of 50. Who's responsible for making sure the cargo arrives undamaged? The packer, the driver, the sender, the loader. correct answer is the driver explanation the driver mustn't allow any cargo to be damaged during transit loading or unloading this requires the responsible attitude to safeguard the load at all times question 4 of 50 what does this sign mean contra flow bus and cycle lane with flow bus and cycle lane no buses or cycles priority to buses or cycles The correct answer is, with flow bus and cycle lane. Explanation. Some lanes are set aside for certain types of vehicle. Signs and road markings show the authorized vehicles in words or pictures. There's usually also a sign showing the time that the lane is in operation. Some lanes might only be in operation for a short time. Check the sign and only use the lane if you're allowed to do so. Question 5 of 50. When must these two signs be used? When you're carrying a load that overhangs the front or rear of the vehicle by more than 1 meter, 3 feet, 3 inches. Whenever your vehicle is being towed. Whenever a police escort is required. When you're carrying a load that overhangs the front or rear of the vehicle by more than 2 meters, 6 feet, 6 inches. The correct answer is, when you're carrying a load that overhangs the front or rear of the vehicle by more than 2 meters, 6 feet 6 inches. Explanation. The law requires you to use projection markers for long or wide loads. It's the driver's responsibility to keep the markers clean and securely fixed. They must also be independently lit at night. Question 6 of 50. You're checking your vehicle's tires before starting a long motorway journey. What check should be made on each tire? Air pressure, tracking, valve clearance, tire profile. Well, the correct answer is air pressure. Explanation. All tires must be properly inflated and in good condition. Tire failure on a motorway can have serious consequences. This can be avoided by checking your tires at the start of each journey. Question 7 of 50. Which vehicle is most at risk in windy conditions? 
high-sided lorry, saloon car, tractor unit, single deck bus. The correct answer is high-sided lorry. Explanation. High-sided vehicles are severely affected by side wind because of the large surface area of the bodywork. The risk of loss of control is increased if the vehicle is unladen. Question 8 of 50. What should you look for when choosing a site to park your trailer? The sites should be level. The sites should be made of concrete. The sites should be sheltered. The sites should have marked parking bays. The correct answer is, the sites should be level. Explanation. Check that the ground is firm and level before you uncouple the trailer. If you need to, place a heavy plank under the legs to distribute the weight and stop the legs sinking into the ground. Don't park illegally. Make sure that your unattended trailer isn't blocking access for others. Question 9 of 50. What should you do first to help someone who's unconscious at the scene of an incident? Try to get them to drink water. Look for any witnesses. Take the numbers of any vehicles involved. Check that they're breathing. The correct answer is, check that they're breathing. Explanation. Gently tilt the unconscious person's head to clear their airway. Check for at least 10 seconds that the casualty is breathing by looking for movement in the chest, listening for sounds and feeling for breath on your cheek. Get someone to call the emergency services. Question 10 of 50. You're driving a lorry with a maximum authorized mass of more than 7.5 tons along a three-lane motorway. When may you use the right-hand lane to overtake slower lorries? When the left-hand lane is closed, if you drive at more than 60 miles per hour, if you're traveling unladen. The correct answer is, when the left-hand lane is closed. Explanation. Use of the right-hand lane on motorways with three or more lanes isn't normally allowed for vehicles over 7.5 tons maximum authorized mass. Vehicles required to be fitted with a speed limit of vehicles towing a trailer. This rule does not apply in special circumstances, such as when the left-hand lane is closed. Question 11 of 50. Which sign means that there may be people walking along the road? The correct answer is... Explanation. Always check the road signs. They'll inform you of hazards ahead so you know what problems to expect. A number of different signs show pedestrians in different situations. Learn them all so you'll understand the hazards you're likely to meet. Question 12 of 50. What must you do when driving under the rules for domestic driver's hours? Keep a written record of hours worked. Only record any driving off public roads. Keep a written record of driving time only. Always use a vehicle fitted with a tachograph. The correct answer is, keep a written record of hours worked. Explanation. Domestic rules apply to certain journeys within Great Britain that aren't subject to EU rules. Under domestic rules you must keep a written record of your hours of duty when driving goods vehicles. Question 13 of 50. Your vehicle is fitted with a diff lock. When would you normally use it? While driving on straight roads. While towing an empty trailer. While driving on muddy construction sites. While uncoupling the trailer. The correct answer is while driving on muddy construction sites. Explanation. The differential allows the drive wheels to rotate at different speeds. This is necessary for the vehicle to negotiate corners and bends. On a slippery surface, however, it can cause problems. If one wheel has less traction, it can spin, resulting in a complete loss of drive. D. This lock prevents the wheels from turning independently and so helps to stop this happening. Question 14 of 50. 
You're driving a lorry along a motorway. You notice that you're losing tread from one of your tires. What should you do? Stop on the hard shoulder and phone for assistance. Stop on the hard shoulder and change the wheel. Continue driving to the next service station. Continue driving and leave by the next exit. The correct answer is, stop on the hard shoulder and phone for assistance. Explanation. Continuous high speed on the motorway can cause the tires to become hot and to shred. If you notice this happening, you must stop on the hard shoulder as soon as it's safe to do so. It's dangerous to drive a defective vehicle. Question 15 of 50. You're driving an open tipper lorry carrying loose dry sand. Why should you sheet this load? To stop the handling from being affected. To stop the load from shifting. To stop the load from blowing away. To stop the tipping mechanism from accidentally operating. The correct answer is, to stop the load from blowing away. Explanation. If you're carrying a load that consists of loose materials, it must be covered by suitable sheeting. You mustn't risk losing any part of your load. This could cause damage or injury to other road users, and you would be responsible. Question 16 of 50 or driving a lorry. During the journey you begin to feel ill and are unable to concentrate. What should you do? Stop in a safe place and seek help. Continue your journey and keep your windows open. Increase your speed to finish your work earlier. Keep stopping at regular intervals for rest. The correct answer is, stop in a safe place and seek help. Explanation, if you become unwell, it will affect your ability to concentrate. You must be fully alert and ready for any hazards that might occur while you're driving. Stop in a safe place and call for help. You may have to call out a relief driver to complete the journey for you. Question 17 of 50. What's the final thing you should do after recoupling a trailer? Connect the brake lines. Release the trailer. Parking brake. Connect the electrical lines. Raise the trailer leg. The correct answer is, release the trailer, parking brake. Explanation. It's important to work methodically when uncoupling or recoupling a tractor unit and trailer. After recoupling, check that all connections, systems and lights are working correctly. Question 18 of 50. What training must you take before driving a lorry loaded with toxic substances? How to use firefighting equipment. How to operate a forklift truck. How to operate a lorry mounted crane. How to use breathing apparatus. The correct answer is how to use fire fighting equipment. Explanation. Vehicles carrying dangerous goods and other materials that may pose a hazard are subject to detailed emergency procedures. These procedures must be followed. Appropriate firefighting equipment must be available and the driver must be trained in its use. Question 19 of 50. How could you reduce your lorry's fuel consumption? Fit new brake linings. Fit a high-level exhaust pipe. Fit a larger fuel tank. Fit wind deflectors. The correct answer is, fit wind deflectors. Explanation. Wind deflectors reduce a vehicle's wind resistance and so help reduce fuel consumption. Question 20 of 50. In England and Wales, what's the national speed limit on a single carriageway road for a rigid lorry with a maximum authorized mass of more than 7.5 tons? 30 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour, 50 miles per hour, 60 miles per hour. The correct answer is 50 miles per hour. 
Explanation. In England and Wales, vehicles exceeding 7.5 tons maximum authorized mass are restricted to a maximum of 50 miles per hour on single carriageway roads. In Scotland, this speed limit is 40 miles per hour. Question 21 of 50. Which type of load should be secured using chains, timber planks, hay bales, steel plates, canvas sacks? The correct answer is steel plates. Explanation. The choice of restraints will depend on the load. For example, ropes are unsuitable for loads such as steel plates, as there's a danger of sharp edges shearing the rope. For steel plates, chains must be used with a suitable tensioning device. Question 22 of 50. What condition could prevent you from holding a lorry or bus license? Dyslexia, partial blindness, dermatitis, stomach upset. The correct answer is partial blindness. Explanation. Any medical condition that could affect your ability to drive a lorry or a bus safely may prevent you from holding a license. These conditions include serious visual impairment, heart disease and some mental disorders. For more information about medical standards, you should contact the driver's medical branch DVLA, Swansea. Question 23 of 50. What's the national speed limit on a motorway for a lorry weighing over 7.5 tons? 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour, 55 miles per hour, 88 kilometers per hour, 60 miles per hour, 96 kilometers per hour, 70 miles per hour, 112 kilometers per hour. The correct answer is 60 miles per hour, 96 kilometers per hour. Explanation. Be aware of and obey all speed limits. On a motorway, any lorry that's articulated towing a trailer or over 7.5 tons mustn't exceed 60 miles per hour, 96 kilometers per hour. Question 24 of 50. You're parking your lorry at night. Where must you use parking lights? On the road, in a motorway service area, in a factory entrance, in dock authority areas. The correct answer is, on the road, explanation, goods vehicles exceeding 2,500 kilograms laden weight must always have their parking lights switched on when they're parked on the road at night. This includes parking in lay BYS. Other drivers entering the lay by must be able to see the vehicle. Question 25 of 50. Your lorry is fitted with a driver's seat belt. When may you drive without wearing it? When you're making deliveries that are less than 50 meters apart. When you're towing at less than 50 miles per hour. When you're working less than 50 hours in a week. When you're all less than 50 miles away from your depot. The correct answer is, when you're making deliveries that are less than 50 meters apart. Explanation. It's compulsory for drivers and passengers to wear seat belts. However, if you're making deliveries that are less than 50 meters apart, you may leave the seat belt undone. It would be impractical to keep fastening and unfastening your seat belt over such short distances. Question 26 of 50. What should you do when there's a fire in your vehicle's engine compartment? Open all windows. Try to remove the load. Flag down a passing motorist. Cut off the fuel supply. The correct answer is cut off the fuel supply. Explanation. If you suspect a fire, try to isolate the source. If possible, disconnect electrical leads and cut off the fuel supply. Question 27 of 50. What's the minimum depth of tread required over three quarters of the breadth of a lorry tire? 1 mm, 1.5 mm, 2.5 mm, 5 mm.
The correct answer is one millimeter. Explanation. Tires are your lorry's only contact with the road. It's essential that this contact gives you the grip you need to control your vehicle at all times. For that reason, goods vehicles must have a tread depth of at least one millimeter across three quarters of the breadth of the tread and in a continuous band around the entire circumference. Question 28 of 50. Air brake systems usually have two lines. Which additional line is fitted on a three-line system? Emergency, service, electrical, auxiliary. The correct answer is auxiliary. Explanation. The blue auxiliary line isn't used when connecting to a two-line system. Follow the manufacturer's instructions about what to do with this third line. Question 29 of 50. You're using three sheets to cover your load. Which is the correct overlap? The correct answer is A. Explanation. Keep a check in your mirrors as you're driving to make sure that the sheets are secure. Air can force itself under the sheets and work them loose. Question 30 of 50. You're driving along a motorway. What should you do if the air pressure warning device starts to operate? Immediately in the lane you're in. Continue slowly to the next service area. Stop on the hard shoulder as soon as possible. Leave the motorway at the next exit. The correct answer is, stop on the hard shoulder as soon as possible. Explanation. If the air pressure warning activates, you should have enough air to allow you to stop safely on the hard shoulder. Don't delay stopping, as further loss of air may cause the brakes to lock on. Switch on the hazard warning lights. Use the nearest emergency telephone to call for assistance. Question 31 of 50. Why should you use an approved coolant solution in your engine's cooling system? To protect the coolant from freezing. For easier starting from cold. To prevent the air tank from freezing. For effective cab heating. The correct answer is to protect the coolant from freezing. Explanation. Coolant solution is also known as antifreeze. It provides protection from freezing and also contains a corrosion inhibitor that prolongs the life of the cooling system. Remember to check the coolant level regularly. Question 32 of 50. In strong winds, an overtaking lorry can cause additional air turbulence that can affect other road users. Which vehicle is most at risk from this turbulence? A car, a delivery van, a motorcycle, a coach. The correct answer is a motorcycle. Explanation. Vehicles such as motorcycles, bicycles and caravans could be blown off course by strong winds. You should be aware that your vehicle could cause additional buffeting when you overtake, so allow them plenty of room. Question 33 of 50. You're driving a lorry weighing more than 7.5 tons on a motorway. What does this sign mean? Maximum speed 40 miles per hour. Maximum speed 50 miles per hour. Maximum speed 60 miles per hour. Maximum speed 70 miles per hour. The correct answer is Maximum speed, 60 miles per hour. Explanation. The maximum speed for lorries over 7.5 tons maximum authorized mass on a motorway is 60 miles per hour. However, it may not always be appropriate or possible to drive at this speed because of the weather, volume of traffic and other factors. Question 34 of 50. What should you do when you overtake a cyclist on a two-way road? Pass closely, staying about 1 meter 3 feet 3 inches from the curb. Go past quickly and move back to the left sharply. 
Leave plenty of room and check your near side mirror before returning to the left. Give a right turn signal after you've moved out to overtake. The correct answer is leave plenty of room and check your near side mirror before returning to the left. Explanation, only overtake when it's safe to do so. And don't use the size of your vehicle to intimidate approaching traffic. When overtaking a cyclist, leave plenty of room and before returning to the left. Check in your near side mirror to make sure you pass them safely. Question 35 of 50. You're approaching a green traffic light and are going straight ahead. What should you do when the traffic ahead beyond the junction has stopped and is queuing? Go forward if your vehicle will clear the junction. Drive slowly across the junction. Maintain your speed and sound your horn. Across the junction until the traffic clears. The correct answer is, go forward if your vehicle will clear the junction. Explanation. Look well ahead and plan your approach to all junctions. Even if the traffic lights are green, don't go forward if queuing traffic will cause you to block the junction. Be aware of the length of your vehicle and how much space it needs to clear the junction. Question 36 of 50. What can cab-mounted wind deflectors reduce? Journey times, load capacity, tire wear, fuel consumption. The correct answer is fuel consumption. Explanation. A wind deflector redirects the airflow around the vehicle. This reduces the amount of energy required to drive the vehicle forward and so saves fuel. Question 37 of 50. How can vehicle breakdowns be reduced? By driving slowly, by regular servicing, by regular cleaning, by avoiding bad weather. The correct answer is, by regular servicing, explanation, following the vehicle manufacturer's guidelines for service intervals will enable worn components to be replaced before they fail. This will help prevent costly breakdowns. Question 38 of 50. What happens to diesel fuel when it gets hot? It expands, it liquefies, it shrinks, it waxes. The correct answer is, it expands. Explanation. When a full diesel fuel tank heats up, the fuel expands and can be forced out of the breather vent and onto the road. This wastes fuel and makes the road surface very dangerous for other road users. Question 39 of 50. What will you have to deal with when you're driving at night? Headlight dazzle. Other driver speeding. Cold weather conditions, dazzle from shop windows. The correct answer is, headlight dazzle. Explanation, at night, the headlights of oncoming traffic can dazzle you, reducing how much you can see of the road ahead. Reduce your speed so that you can safely respond to any situation that may arise and make sure you dip your headlights. Question 40 of 50. When is trailer swing most likely to occur on a lorry and drawbar combination? While you're braking on a bend. While you're using an endurance brake. While you're steering at slow speed and fully loaded. While you're moving off at an angle. The correct answer is, while you're braking on a bend. Explanation. The forces that act on your vehicle if you brake while cornering can lead to instability and may cause trailer swing. You should try to plan ahead so that you brake smoothly and in good time as you approach a bend. Question 41 of 50. What does this road sign mean? No goods vehicles under 7.5 tons maximum authorized mass. No goods vehicles over 7.5 tons maximum authorized mass. No goods vehicles over 7.5 meters overall height. 
No good vehicles under 7.5 meters overall height. The correct answer is no good vehicles over 7.5 tons maximum authorized mass. Explanation. It's essential that all limits are complied with to avoid breaking the law and facing possible prosecution. Weight restrictions normally apply to the plated weight of a vehicle, often referred to as the maximum authorized mass MAM. Question 42 of 50. You've been issued with protective clothing. Who's responsible for its use? You, the driver, the insurance company, the health and safety executive, your employer. The correct answer is you, the driver. Explanation. Protective clothing will usually be provided by your company. However, it's your responsibility to make sure that you use it properly. Question 43 of 50. Where should you park a semi-trailer if you plan to leave it unattended? On a residential street, on a steep hill, in a lorry park, in a lay-by. The correct answer is, in a lorry park. Explanation. If you need to park and leave a semi-trailer, find a safe place. Don't park it in a lay-by or anywhere it could be an obstruction or a danger. Leave lay-by's for drivers who wish to stop and rest. Find a place off the road, preferably a lorry park or somewhere safe that will also reduce the risk of theft. Question 44 of 50. Why are good vehicle drivers' hours of work controlled? To encourage vehicle sympathy, to help road safety, to ensure fair road use, to improve vehicle security. The correct answer is to help road safety. Explanation. Drivers need to be alert at all times. Fatigue is a recognized danger for professional drivers, so working conditions are governed by EU rules. These set a maximum driving time and minimum requirements for rest and break periods. Setting limits on the length of time a driver can work combats fatigue and so helps road safety. Question 45 of 50. When should you check the oil level in your engine? When the engine is running. When the engine is cold, when the engine is warm, when the engine is hot. The correct answer is, when the engine is cold. Explanation. Oil is vital for lubrication of the engine. It should be checked regularly and topped up as necessary. You should always check your engine's oil level when the engine is cold and your vehicle is parked on the level. Question 46 of 50. You arrive at an incident where someone is suffering from severe burns. What should you do to help? Douse the burns with cold water. Remove anything stuck to the burns. First blisters that form on the burns. Apply ointment to the burns. The correct answer is, douse the burns with cold water. Explanation. Cold water will cool the burning tissue and help prevent further damage. It will also reduce swelling, minimize shock and alleviate pain. Use water or any other liquid that's clean and non-toxic. Question 47 of 50. Your lorry has been fitted with wind deflectors. How will they affect your vehicle? They'll increase the fuel consumption. They'll reduce the stability. They'll require increased tire pressures. They'll reduce the wind resistance. The correct answer is, they'll reduce the wind resistance. Explanation. Wind deflectors direct the wind either around or over your vehicle, so reducing the wind resistance. The vehicle then requires less power to make progress against the wind, and so will use less fuel. Question 48 of 50. You're driving a lorry that's carrying a heavy load. What should you be prepared to do when you see this sign ahead? Brake to a lower speed. Change to a higher gear. 
Stop to check your load. Change to a lower gear. The correct answer is change to a lower gear. Explanation. A heavy vehicle will lose speed when climbing a steep hill. Changing to a low gear will help you to maintain an appropriate speed. Question 49 of 50 You stopped at a pelican crossing. What should you do if the lights have changed to green but a disabled person is still crossing? Give way to them. Drive in front of them. Drive behind them. Sound your horn at them. The correct answer is give way to them. Explanation. At a pelican crossing, the green light means you may go, but you must give way to anyone still crossing. If someone hasn't finished crossing, be patient. People with mobility difficulties can struggle to cross in the time allowed by the lights. Question 50 of 50. You're turning left from a main road into a side road. What should you do if people are already crossing the road into which you're turning? Continue, as you have right of way. Signal to them to continue crossing. Wait and allow them to cross. Sound your horn to warn them of your presence. The correct answer is, wait and allow them to cross. Explanation. Approaching a junction at the correct speed will allow you enough time to observe and react. Pedestrians crossing here have priority and you must give way to them.